Hello everyone, Jeff here at High Fashion Sewing and tonight we're taping the reveal of the 2022 second quarter new products, our class schedule and everything we have to offer from April, May and June. So here we go. I'm going to pass off the important stuff to Angie and here we go. Thank you. Hi everybody, we miss you. So before we start on second quarter, we're gonna tie up a couple loose ends for first quarter. So I have this class sample. Lorraine's gonna be my holder here. Oops, it's upside down. This is called Party Pop and it is for Pi Day. Pi Day being 3.14, March 14th, you get it? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's also the pattern is from the company called slice of pie and it takes fat eight bundles so we have them in different colors and the pattern comes in three different sizes and depending on the size that you pick um, is how many fat eights you'll need to buy and then you add whatever color background you'd like and you don't have to use these colors you can use whatever colors you like thank you Lorraine Day after that, in case you haven't had enough of me yet, we're gonna have another um, Pinterest party. This is called Zip Up Tray. Here's our pattern. So this is on Tuesday. This is the little tray and it folds up. Let's see if I can do this on camera, no pressure. <gasps> Ta-da! And it folds up into a cute little box. And that uses what kind of zipper? This is a separating zipper. Like what you have on your jacket. Because it uh, separates. <laughs> anyway, we do sell these. <laughs> Get it? Separate. Alright, we have Summer Moon. Um, last one for the quarter will be Friday, March 18th. And again, that's still quarter one. And then... We pick it up again on second quarter, April 8th. That'll be the last one. And that will be the last session of Summer Moon. So um, Lynn's been teaching this class. You make different blocks in different sizes. Alrighty, April 6th, Trista's gonna have a open sew for sergers. Here's some of the lovely samples you can make with your serger. All kinds of fun stitches, piping, cool stitches. Yeah, that's a fun one. Mm -hmm. This is velvet. Yeah. Feels like velvet. And this is done on the serger. Mm -hmm. What's that called? The wave stitch. The wave stitch. Woo woo! Only on baby locks. And here's another sample. We were hiding this one down below. This is the serger bag that she did a while back, but these are all samples of things that you can do on your serger. So on serger um, open sew day, you just bring your serger and some serger project. Yes. Thanks. Oh, let's not get tangled up in the wire here. Alrighty. April 12th is professional tote. So you can do the full size professional tote or the mini professional tote. So this is the full size professional tote. This is the best travel bag I have ever had. I love it when I travel. It has a little um, luggage sleeve here so you can put it on your the arm of your luggage. It's got all kinds of pockets. People also like to use this for um, a, like a business attache bag. This is our pattern. It's from Creative Thimble. And I guess people liked this so well, but wanted it for a purse that um, Creative Thimble designed a mini professional tote that is more purse size. Very similar in structure and design. And do we have, here's that pattern. Nope, that's, well, that's the cover of the pattern. So in that class, because they're both, both very similar, you can um, make either bag. April 13th is a um, calendar club. I'm going to pass the mic to Lorraine. Well, maybe Lorraine wants to hold it. 
Oh, and I'll talk. It. You want me? I'll talk, and you hold it. Okay. April thirteenth, Wednesday. Calendar Club Aztec Diamond Runner. Takes a sixty degree ruler. Sixty degree ruler. What's this beautiful fabric line? Carolina Lilies. Carolina Lilies. Thank you. I can remember Robin Pickens, but not Carolina Lilies. It's a beautiful fabric line. There you go. All right. On Thursday, the next day, on April 14th, I have an Annie's bag, except it's not a real bag, it's more like a box. It's called Contain Yourself. Calm down, contain yourself. <laughs> Comes in three different sizes. This is the large bin. Point out all your great piecing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Lorraine wants me to point out my beautiful piecing here. Notice how perfect that is. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, cheater fabric. We sell that here. But isn't it cute? <laughs> Has a little vinyl pocket optional that you can label your little bin. And these fit the IKEA um, storage shelves. And then that's the large size. The medium size is this big. It also has a little vinyl um, pocket for a label. And the reason I love this one is it will hold patterns and or CDs, DVDs, all that kind of stuff. So you can contain your stuff. And then you can make little guys too. These are great for throwing your wonder clips in at your sewing machine table. So one yard of main fabric and one yard of lining fabric will make one large, one medium, and two small contain yourselves. All righty, where's my sign for this one? <gasps> this is Celia's class. <laughs> you want to? Okay, Lorraine's gonna hold. Do you want to talk? Um, yeah, go ahead. April fifteenth. Yes. Quick trips, it's called. It's an Eleanor Burns book. Um, I, I decided to do this because the book was a little bit complicated. However, it really, I have a lot of shortcuts to show you how to put it together a lot quicker, a lot easier. And once you learn the steps, then you can go all the way from baby quilts all the way to king with hardly any thinking process. So I'm really looking forward to teaching everybody. And do we have kids? We do have. We, we actually have only one spot left at this point. Um, we had a choice between the coral and the blue. Um, we have three of the coral kits left and two of the blue. So that's, what, that's what's left. In case you can't make it to class, at least you might be able to pick up yes. a kit. But yes. if you're interested in class, sign up right away. It's beautiful, Celia. And this is a trip around the world pattern. Yes, yes. Okay, on Monday and Tuesday, April 18th and 19th, I'll be teaching the ever popular quilting with your walking foot. Two day immersion class. This is the book that we use. And it's all about making different samples using your walking foot. So over those two days, you will make all of these samples and then you have them to reference whenever you have something to quilt next time. If uh, free motion quilting scares you a little bit, give walking foot a try. These are all made with the walking foot. And by the time you're done, you will go home with all of these samples. Well, not these samples, you make your own. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Julie's got album embroidery. This uh, is um, album quilt embroidery. Um, it's anywhere from new machine owners, beginners to advanced. You get to pick whichever design that you want to work on. These are some of the ones that we have in the store. Oops. Um, you can also um, pick up any album quilt embroidery that you want to do, and we can certainly help you out. Uh, with the fabric selections and um, just learning the techniques. So yeah, let's go look at her big samples. So um, this is kind of like an ump and sew for album embroidery, right? Because you can work on any machine embroidery album quilts you'd like. Aren't those beautiful? 
You can come by the store and see them up close and personal if you'd like. We've got them hanging in the classroom. All right, starting April 22nd, Lynn will be teaching beginning um, piecing for three different days through April and May. And these are some of the blocks that she goes through with you. Some basic um, piecing blocks. And uh, she'll teach you all you need to know to get started quilting, or if you just need a refresher on piecing. All righty, Saturday, April 23rd, I've got BSR panel practice. BSR stands for Bernina Stitch Regulator. This is the panel we'll be using. Isn't she adorable? Anything is possible, including mastering your BSR. Yeah, it is. You can do it. So um, oh. you'll just, that's okay. We'll just, you know, practice using your BSR on that panel. If you really, I don't know, have something against little piggies, I can't imagine she's so cute, she's right? <laughs> you could also do this panel. Mm -hmm. Or gnomes. And then on Saturday afternoon, right after BSR panel practice, I'll be teaching afternoon pillows. So you can take any of these panels and make an adorable pillow. So Trista made this sample for me. She did use her BSR to quilt it. And this one. And the gnome panel. Super fun. Not cute? And then we have the coordinating fabrics to go with. Thank you. Okay. Uh, April, March, March. This is March 9th. Oh, our sticker, stuff. our sign is old. Let's take the sign off. <laughs> and look at our new sign. Tuesday, April 26th, Trista will be teaching free motion quilting. Here's some samples of free motion quilting pebbles. Isn't that cute? On something besides a quilt. Feathers. A meander, a medium stipple, a small stipple, some different feather alternates, some swirls, all kinds of fun stuff that you just get to practice. And she'll show you different techniques for free motion quilting. We're into May now. Tuesday, May 3rd is Candace Bag. I have taught this once before, it was popular. This is our pattern from Lazy Girl, and this is our bag. So it's got this nice slip pocket in the front. Quick access for emergency stuff. And then it's got a zippered top and some pockets inside. I did add these um, silver hardware buckles. It does show them on the pattern. And we carry all the purse hardware and zippers. Hey, that's Candace. And then, you ready for another fun one? Another fun play on words? This is Star Wars Day for Wednesday, May the 4th. Get it? May the 4th be with you? Ha ha ha. This is, <laughs> all the girls are laughing. This is the pattern we're using. Star Destroyer, appropriate, right? It's it so is cute. paper pieced, so we do have this paper piecing paper that's an easy tear paper. You run it through your printer. These are a few of the blocks that I have made. So you can see here I'm um, crossing over to the dark side with my color theme here as opposed to the bright colors that are here. <laughs> I think it's going to look really cool when I get that done. Yes. Okay, this is fantastic ruler quilting on either Friday, May 13th or Tuesday, June 14th. Trista's going to teach this class using yeah. rulers. And open sew. And it's, and it's an open sew basically for rulers. Yes. Okay. Here's some of the designs she's made. And she'll give you all the ins and outs on how to be successful using your rulers. Are beginners welcome too? Yes. So beginners too. 
This little template is a dealer exclusive design. The only way you can get it is through a dealer, like high fashion. That one was really fun because it shows it with the point out and then in and then rev switched. And these little sparkly guys are bobbin work. Isn't that fun? So you put some heavy um, cording like the Ricky Tim's, um, what's it called? Ricky Tim's? Razzle Dazzle. That's it. Thank you. Razzle Dazzle in the bobbin and you basically quilt upside down and this is the bobbin side. Yay. Yay that looks like lots of fun. Okay. Tuesday, May 24th. Another Pinterest party. This one's called Tag You're It. And it's some little pin cushions. You get in the kit, there's fabrics for all eight pin cushions. This is a bunny hill pattern. It's absolutely adorable. And the reason it's called Tag You're It is because some of the fabric has these little tags. And you make those little tags. I don't know how well you can see them on here. And they're inserted into the seam oh, that's cute. of the pin cushions. Like a tag. Yeah, like a tag. So even if you don't need eight pin cushions, I'm sure you have friends that do. <laughs> All right, embroidery workshop. This is Julie's regular. Uh, so once a month we do embroidery workshop for brand new machine owners or new to uh, doing machine embroidery. Um, I pick one pattern which we supply to you and I supply all of the kits for each of the classes. We will be doing the embroidery um, portion of this and you can make little wall hangings, little mug rugs, eyeglass case from the little designs that uh, we're going to do. All right. Jump <laughs> all right. I'm terrible at jokes, but this one was a cute one. So, did you hear about the plumber that was a duck and he always wore a disguise? Do you know why? He didn't want to have anybody see his quack. <laughs> <laughs> well, after that. Uh, you know, I was going to go on with more classes after that, but I'm thinking we might need a little detour yeah. to the funny farm. We, <laughs> we have this panel called Welcome to the Funny Farm. And we have coordinating fabrics that go with it. There are two panels in this collection. They are adorable. I mean, look at the little piggy in glasses. Look at, her, look at him. Look at this llama. Or it's a horse. I guess it's a horse. Sorry. I'm at an angle. And the bunny rabbit has all his veggies on his head. Oh, isn't that cute? And then the coordinates are up here. Very cute. This would be called tossed farm animals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to classes. Ruler foot we 101. Ruler foot 101. So this is if you haven't done any ruler work before. Woo, sorry. Um, we take the beginner sampler set and we go through how to use each ruler. Just kind of gives you more uh, of an idea if you like ruler work or don't like ruler work. I'm going to call it my uh, pat head rub tummy class because you really, it takes some coordination to hang onto the rulers and move everything. So, but it's a good way to get started and see if you like the ruler work. There's a lot of designs you can make with that starter set too. Yes. Very nice. And this is a half a day, two to four. Okay. On June, we're into June now, can you believe it? I will be teaching this Big Frog Zipper Bag. And that's on Wednesday, June 1st. Here's our pattern. It's from Java House Quilts. This is our frog. He makes a backpack. So he's got a zipper on his tummy. Here you can see the zipper on his tummy. A strap that you can carry over your shoulder. And then you can also download um, these patterns to make these free accessories. And supposedly you can make those accessories from the leftover fabric from making your froggy purse. I thought it was adorable. It's super cute. <laughs> On Saturday, June 4th, I have an all-day class called Baby Bundle. And we will be using two different by Annie patterns. 
to make bibs, little bibs and bigger bibs, and then baby travel accessories. So there's a little play mat, a little um, container to hold the pacifier, and then a little container to hold a bottle of milk. And according to the pattern, the um, bibs use this texture magic. If you haven't used this, it's really kind of fun. It, you sew your fabric to this fabric, this stuff, this, I call it shrinky dink fabric, and then you steam it and the texture magic shrinks up and you get textured fabric. So our issue though, is that this seems to be a discontinued item. We have not been able to find any more of this or the Pellon brand. So we have Jeff scrounged up like four or five of these packages. So I'm gonna split them up so that you have enough to make at least one bib so that everybody can make at least one. And then the other thing is this pattern uses fusible thread for applique. So this will be a new technique for you. Well, it will be for me and I'll learn it and then I'll teach it to you. Okay, moving on. June 7th, Thursday, I have case in point. This is another by Annie bag. This bag was designed to hold your crochet hooks and your knitting needles, the circle kind. I'm sure there's a proper term for that that I don't know what it is. <laughs> and on the um, By Any website, you can download this document so that you can label the slots for your crochet hooks. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really neat. And it's got multiple pockets to keep all your project um, and handwork and stuff together there. Oh, it's time for another calendar club. All right, my June. So this is June calendar club. This is hollow star table runner. Again, it's gonna use a 60 degree ruler. Um, this is a 60 degree diamond ruler. Way fun, easy to do and um, went together sorry i'm moving it while trista's trying to film it um went together really well and channel or just straight line quilting you can't beat it i do notice i have get some more of my marks off of there put, put the cover that over. put yeah. the pattern over the marks but very easy to quilt it's very easy to do um you ladies that are scared of quilting i think we can get this all completely done in a day hopefully channel quilting that is, is kind of, I mean, it's I think that's what you said was channel quilting. That's straight what, line. yeah, but yes, you can definitely do that easily. So where's our block here? Is this our block? Well, it's cut. Yes. And then you add these. So yes. Oh, it I is see. It's kind of, yes, it is this block. Hmm. Except for these in here, which don't have the outer corner blocks. Ah, I see. Isn't that unusual? I love that. And very pretty. Talk about any colors. You can do anything you want with that. You could make them to match, you know, your decor, different holidays. All right, on Friday, June 10th, Lynn will be teaching this Raggy Shaggy rug. It's really fun. You should feel it. She's used um, wovens, the woven fabric on these, and it's kind of um, chenille, the way that it's strip cut. It's a little bit different than chenille, but it's really soft. And then her other sample here is with Batik. So you can use regular cottons or wovens. It does not have to be wovens. On Monday, June 20th, I'm teaching this Garden Dreams class as a Pinterest party class. So we have kitted the project up and I have to show you the sample. Not the sample, I lied. I have to show you the panel. I think Lorraine's gonna come hold it because it's kind of a big panel. But this is our center of our quilt. It's beautiful wall, water colored um, fabric. And then we make pieced blocks to go around it and then add a couple borders. Very beautiful very fabric. Good. Thank you. So we have kits all ready for class. And on Wednesday, June 22nd, Julie's got another embroidery class. This one's called Heart of America. Um, this is an advanced class for multi-hooping. So if you wanted to try multi-hooping but got a little intimidated, this would be a perfect project. Um, we will work on this in class. You can use a 5 by 7 hoop or larger. Um, it was not difficult. Um, it's 
a real fun little project to work on. I do have a full kit uh, except the back available uh, for class. So this is from Claudia's Creations and um, I have made some of her multi-hooped projects before and the way she has the hooping end and begin it goes together really well. They're not at a hard edge where it would be difficult to get them lined up just right. As you can see, includes that background quilting. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, Julie. <laughs> Never mind. Does not include that background quilting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you could do that in the embroidery machine. <laughs> or in your. Oh, did you see that? Julie did this oh, in with nice. her BSR. I was looking so, for hoop lines. Yeah, I thought it was in the hoop too. Nice Very work, nice. Mm-hmm. So see, you practice with your BSR, yeah. and you can do some of that beautiful quilting. Stars even, so cute. Very nice. Custom quilting by Julie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, on Monday, June twenty seventh. Lynn will be teaching Jelly Roll Play Day. She's done this before. It's basically um, kind of like an open sew, but you get to do whatever project you want that uses jelly rolls. So this is a rug, and this is out of a flannel jelly roll, nice and soft. And then she's got some placemats here. And don't and our extra large sombrero. Yes, if we swivel over this way, <laughs> we have a tree skirt. <laughs> Not a skirt skirt. <laughs> Don't get carried away there, Lorraine. <laughs> it's, it's a tree skirt. Mm -hmm. And um, she said it wasn't hard to make. So you can use uh, any old jelly roll for that. All righty. Tuesday, June 28th, I'll be teaching another Annie bag. This one's called A Place for Everything. Uh, this is a marvelous bag. It is a little intense. I would not suggest this if this is your very first Annie's bag, but it has pockets on the outside a zipper pocket, slip pockets. Let's open this up all the way. Inside here, let's turn it towards the camera. You have these extra pockets here. You have slip pockets here. These are pages. The great thing about this, there's another pocket. If this opens up and these pages are removable. That is so cool. So you can make multiple pages. You can put them in and out as your needs change or as you're working on different projects. Depending on how full your pockets are will depend on how many um, pages you can fit in your bag. So it, the pattern calls for two. And then it has a shoulder carry strap also. All right. Emma's Collage Pillow. This is another machine embroidery class from Julie. Um, this is a Kimber Bell design with um, Emma's Collage. So if you have little bits of fabric that you can't get rid of, like myself, you can use that in the collage. It's just little layers of little pieces of fabric. And then on machine embroidery, it's going to stitch over the top of all of it. And we have these Kimberbell blanks, which means they've done all this sewing of the zipper for you. And all you have to do is sew around the sides, which is what this pillow was made from, is the blank. And so these are just two of the designs that are in um, the CD. And this one I made using toweling and soft and stable. And so I did the background quilting and then just did the embroidery over the top. Very cute. So I uh, notice on here too, there's one called Bless This Nest with little birds in the little bird nest. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And this is kind of neat with the blank because the pillow part is already done for you. You just add the embroidery. All right, let's move on to a new product. Our little um, clippy thing fell off our mic. Hold on one second. Now we're going to pause for station identification. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Can we swing this way? Yes. We have this beautiful red, white, and blue panel. Very nice, primitive looking. And it comes with a white background or the darker cream background. All the coordinates. 
little uh, mini prints. Very nice red, white, and blue coordinates. Lettering, stripes. I love me a stripe binding. Some background colors. And then we move into our fabrics that coordinate with Tag Your It. So we have some of the fabric for this on the bolt, as well as a few extra patterns, and then some layer cakes of the full line. Those are too cute. They are really cute. Mm -hmm. We have a new bag here called Mini Charm Drawstring Bag. This is from Sweet Jane. We have this new book, um, Blackbird Designs. It's got lots of nice ideas in here. This is kind of nice that you get to flip through and see it online, huh? Okay, well, let's see here. Let's see if we see some color pictures. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that didn't, oh, here, here we go. Cute. There's another one. I love that pillow. Mm -hmm. So that's called In Full Bloom by Blackbird Designs. I'm gonna jump this way just a touch because we have a placemat panel with fruits and veggies on it. So you don't even have to eat your fruits and veggies. You can have them on your placemat. Yeah. I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, yardage coordinates to go with them. So my plan was to um, take a set of these placemats and chenille them. So I think they'll be really cute chenilled. And then we have coordinates here to go with. This is, and then we have a layer cake, 10 inch squares. We have this smaller version of a thread cutter. So we've had this in the bigger version and the way it works is about that big. It uses a recycled 45 millimeter rotary cutter blade. And you take this, you put the blade in here and you stand the little flower up in here and you use it to cut your chain pieced pieces. They've now came out with a smaller version. So you can use your smaller used rotary blades as well. Okay, we have on this side, nice big stripology ruler. If you haven't used these before, there's little slits. I don't know if you can see those on camera. To help to, and the slits are where your rotary cutter stays. So you don't go off the straight line um, as easily. It keeps your blade straight. And Julie uses them to square up her blocks. Oh, good point. Julie's been using these to square her blocks. All right, what do we have here? Some new books, baskets, and bags from Jelly Rolls. These would be fun to make at Jelly Roll Play Day, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. All kinds of fun bags in there. That's cute. And we have a new little pattern here. Stars in stars and stripes. The one of those little postcard patterns. There's a little wine case, wine tote, and a little bread basket. You can take on a little picnic. Where it's a little bit cold for a picnic, but maybe in a month. By the time you make it, you'll be ready for a picnic. <laughs> Here's another book that takes two fat quarters. All kinds of little projects in here. Super cute book. <gasps> Look frog. at all those. There's a frog. Little drawstring bags. Whoops. Let's go from the back. Little toiletry bags. All kinds of fun bags with two fat quarters. It takes two. These are called grip strips. You, I believe you put these on your rulers. 
mm -hmm. so that they don't slip. Okay, we have some jelly rolls here. This is from Andover. Okay. Cream and blue. And these are the same fabric line that um, for the quick trips. Yeah, that the quick yeah. trips. They're made with sample. They're from uh, laundry basket. They're laundry basket yes. quilts. Yes. Laundry basket fabrics. Fabrics. Beautiful, huh? Mm -hmm. And then ten inch squares as well. Very pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go take a little walk over this way. Oh, all the way. <laughs> oh my goodness! We have monsters in the corner! A kid monster flannel. <laughs> Zoo animals. Little happy bees. You have to see their little shoes. Is that not adorable? Bees in shoes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen bees in shoes before. Some pretty ro rainbow stripe, cute little ladybugs. These are all flannel. We have a new line over here called Squeeze the Day. It includes a placemat panel. And then we have it in yardage, layer cakes, or 10 inch squares, I should say, because layer cakes is a uh, copyrighted name by Moda, and five inch squares. And they're different fruits. I love that plaid. Yeah, they're so cute. Right next door, we have gnomes. So this is the yardage that goes with the gnome panel. And the fabric line is called Savor the Gnome Mint. Isn't that cute? And we have kitted up some of these quilts. They use the panel and then some of the other fabrics in the line. We have some more baby flannels over here. Mm. Cute little lambs, the moon, bunnies, more bunnies, pokey dots, little feather design, and very soft. Nice little baby flannels. All right, round the corner. These are the coordinates for the um, Garden Dream collection. This is the one that had the great big panel um, that was kind of a watercolor. You can kind of see it here. Beautiful fabrics, just beautiful. I think these would make a great bag. Look at that stripe. Mm -hmm. And then this panel also is included. It has little smaller squares with it. Super fun. And we have this pattern <gasps> that uses these little squares. Cool. That's so fun. And if we could pan up just a little bit here, this isn't brand, brand new, but I think it's really stunning. It's a checkerboard print, black on black and white on white. And we'll come this way a little bit more and we'll check out what we, um, what was on the other side of the Funny Farm fabrics. So here was our Funny Farm fabric. There's goats in hats, veggies, there's a little baby chick with glasses on. Really cute stuff. And then we have the yardage coordinates for the piggy panel that I'm using for the BSR panel practice. So all of these are coordinates. Look at that piggy with glasses and a bow in her hair. That's my favorite. She's adorable. <laughs> and then we have some new colors of grunge. Ain't those pretty. And these little fat quarter bundles from QT. I get their package so tight I can't get in there. All different color florals. Okay. It's springy. Yes, we need that this time, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think did I miss anything? I don't think so. Any closing words, Jeff? Are we winding down? We're winding down. Yes, I'm pretty sure there's a glass of wine at home waiting for me. So thank you all for uh, watching our virtual, again, uh, So Savvy slash reveal for the quarter. And uh, come on in and help clean this out. Thanks. Mm -hmm.